Welcome back to my channel, YouTube viewers, Sweet Tips here. And what this is going to be is this is a short video about white gold. People were asking me about what is white gold. And uh, I embedded the footage that, I, that will be contained in this video in another video. And that video is called Refining White Gold with oxalic acid and so what this video is going to be is just a short uh, retake on the composition of alloy and the metals used to produce white gold yellow gold and rose gold and so here it is I remember back when I first started working with uh, metals white gold was an enigma to me uh, to me, gold is a yellow metal. So how can there possibly be a thing called white gold? Is it a different element? You know, what is it? How do they make white gold? How do you test it? How can you tell if it's real or not? Here I've prepared a chart of four different colors of 14K gold. I've got this information off the internet. I've never tried to use these formulas to produce any of the alloys that I'm about to show you here. This is just information that I uh, got off the internet and it's for illustration purposes only. I've never used this to actually alloy any uh, gold metal with, this, uh, with these numbers. But just to show you here, I've got a column here called yellow gold. I've got a column here called white gold alloyed with nickel. This column is white gold alloyed with palladium. And this last column here is rose gold. And these are all 14K gold alloys. Each of these uh, have the exact same amount of gold in them, uh, which is about roughly 59% pure gold to the alloy. Okay, to get the yellow gold alloy. Copper is added in the amount of, uh, let me see, it's about 30% copper and then uh, about 5% silver and 5% uh, zinc, give or take. Uh, the white gold alloyed with nickel is got same 59% gold in it. But the copper here is only about, uh, say, 15%. And what they've done here is they've reduced the amount of copper uh, from the yellow gold up to 15% and added nickel, another white metal, and roughly about the same amount of silver and zinc in that alloy. But as you can see, there's less copper and more white metals. And what that does is that tends to tint the alloy a white color. It's still got uh, 59 grams of pure gold in it, just like the yellow does. But since we've added more white metals down here as opposed to the yellow gold, this alloy will take on a white appearance. Okay, these last two columns here, this is white gold alloyed with palladium. 59% roughly pure gold, and the rest is going to be pure palladium. That achieves a nice white gold tone. And then over here we have rose gold, and what they've done is they've increased the amount of copper in the rose gold, which tends to give it a more reddish appearance. And uh, there's just a little bit of, of, of silver down here, about 5% silver. So that's how they achieve the different colors of the different alloys of 14K gold. They all have the same amount of gold in them. They alloy other metals to achieve those different colors. Here I have uh, three samples. Over here on the left is the uh, white gold that we'll be working with today. Uh, it's clearly a white colored metal, but it is gold. It's a combination of 10K, 14K, and there may be some 18K in there. Uh, to contrast that, here's our uh, 10 and 14K yellow gold. And then over here we have uh, some pure gold. 
And as you can see, there's a striking difference in the color between these three metals. The way they get this metal to look white, it's got gold in it, roughly the same amount of gold as this carat gold over here. But the way they get this to look white is they reduce the amount of copper that's added to the alloy and they increase the amount of silver metals such as nickel, zinc, and silver. To get the metal to look this yellow, they reduce the number of white metals that they add to this alloy and increase the amount of copper. And uh, this is the color that is achieved by adding that mixture. Hello everybody, trying to get caught up out in my shop. Once I do, I've got more videos coming, including how to get pure gold from junk gold-plated jewelry. Thanks for watching.